Hello friends, this is Worm, Against My Will, and today I wanted to talk about some changes that I hope to see next season. And these aren't in on, you know, in any particular order, and these are going to range from very easy for Bungie to do to something that might be like completely out of left field. It's never going to happen, but it is. these are things I would like to see come with next season. Um, and yeah, the reason I wanted to do this is because... I mean, we always do wish lists before a season starts. Hopefully somebody at Bungie sees it and maybe not next season, but maybe sometime down the road, we will see some of these be implemented or changed, blah, 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 stuff like that. So without further ado, there are some changes we know about currently. First of all, we have the exotic armor changes, things like uh, Shards of Galanor, I know is one. Shards of Galanor, sorry. Uh, that's getting a change so that it no longer affects just your super, which I am a huge fan of. I hate those exotics that only help your super things like uh you know helm 814 that only does something for your super uh helm uh, or technically if you do an exotic combo we're not gonna talk about that though uh what else uh the the warlock robes the the phoenix protocol not phoenix, the phoenix protocol yeah the phoenix protocol you know these are all just super based exotic right they are evolving they evolve your super and that's all they do maybe they help you get it back faster or stuff like that but they don't have any outside function we know that we're getting some changes to fix that so i'm really glad to see bungie doing that because that's something that has been on my gripe list for a long time now and we are starting to see a change at least with a couple of exotics uh which is fantastic but moving on from there i want to talk about my first wish for next season which is more support style builds and more support, uh, you know, style, like like exotics and, and armor piece, or not armor piece, but you know, weapon perks and stuff like that. Currently, the only true support build that I feel like is present in the game is Solar Warlock. And yes, you can make arguments for Void Titan. That's that's that has support elements in it. Strand Titan has support elements in it. You know, um, Void Hunter has support elements, but the only build that you can build all out into full on support is Solar Warlock. You use Boost of the Assembler, you use Lumina, uh, you use certain uh, aspects and fragments, stuff like that. I would love to see Bungie add more of these, number one. And we made a video talking about this a couple weeks ago, so I'm not going to go too much into detail, but I'd like to see Bungie add more, you know, exotics, aspects, fragments, stuff like that to build into the support role not only that but i'd like to see a an improvement to support roles right when was the last time you saw somebody go into a raid and say hey i'm gonna use lumina and boots that similar for support i mean i've never never ever seen anybody do that like it's it's a good build it's a fun build but it's not viable and i would like to see support builds become more viable inside of pve uh, in-game pve content is what i mean to say so that's my first one. Second one of course I want to see, you know, more weapon archetypes added to the game that fit certain elements. For example, Iron Banner, we know next season we're getting a 360 round per minute auto rifle that's going to be Strand. That's fantastic. I'm super happy about that because I think 360 auto is the only auto rifle we don't have currently in the game uh, for Strand. So that's very exciting that we're getting that. Um, but of course, I want to see more added, you know, Strand bows. I would love to see a stasis in Strand Glaives. I'm, you know, I would just, I'm just going to say that I would love to see him. I don't think Bungie will do it. And I, I think we made a whole video talking about why Bungie won't do it, but I would love to see him next season. So hopefully next season we will get a special ammo stasis glaive and a special or a special ammo strand glaive, something like that. I, I would, I want to see those. So hopefully that'll happen. Uh, some other things that I'm hoping to see, of course, meta changes. We talk about these all the time. We know that there's going to be, uh, you know, uh, seasonal patch, there's going to be mid-season patch, there's going to be changes, stuff like that, but I want to see some meta shifts that really feel good, right? Like, sometimes we have meta shifts that's like, oh, wow, like a new meta coming, it's not good, okay, it's not good, and that's, it's going to happen at some point, like, it's going to happen, right? We cannot, we cannot sit here and pretend that bad metas don't exist, you know, we had the 600 round per minute auto rifle meta several years ago, nobody really liked that meta, we had, uh, let's see here, you know, way back in Destiny 1, we had Thorn and Last Word meta. Again, not really a, a favorable meta, in my opinion, but I'm hoping that next season we will see a good meta, you know, healthy balance between everything. Maybe we see Scout Rifles get a little bit of a buff. Uh, don't know, but, you know, we'll see about that. 
get uh, sniper rifles also are getting a buff, which is pretty cool. And when I say meta here, I'm not just talking PvE, I'm talking PvP and PvE metas, right? Very importantly, I think a lot of times when people think of meta, they think of PvP only, but I want PvE and PvP metas, uh, you know, to be both prevalent, you know, both, both, of, both of them are important is what I'm trying to say. Also, we know that strand changes are coming next season. <sighs> Thank the Lord, finally. It feels like it's taken Bungie forever to get around to mess with Strand. We don't know the details of these yet, so hopefully Bungie will give us some details on Thanksgiving uh, or on Thursday about the upcoming stasis changes. Hopefully the changes that come with stasis are going to be very, very good because I think that most most stasis builds were butchered when they changed uh, Whisper of Rhyme, is it? I think Whisper of Rhyme, the one that gives you an overshield and heals you. That one, when that got changed, all my stasis builds were absolutely destroyed. Okay, so hopefully we see some really good changes coming to these. Uh, and hopefully they reduce the cooldown on stasis grenades. I don't know why the Glacier Grenade is still like a th almost like three minute cooldown or something ridiculous like that. So yeah, hopefully we see that. I would also like to see some exotic archetypes that we haven't ever, or uh, some exotic slash exotic elemental archetypes that we haven't ever seen before. For example, an exotic strand hand cannon would be very cool. Never had an exotic strand hand cannon. We've never had an exotic arc hand cannon. Not that I can think of it, at least. Never had an exotic void hand cannon. In fact, I think Sunshot is the only exotic solar hand cannon we have except for Ariana's Vow. But Ariana's Vow is a special weapon, so that, you know, that's teetering a different territory. Hopefully we see some new exotics added into these archetypes that we just don't have. That would be, I think that would be wonderful. You know, a stasis hand cannon, uh, you know, an arc. Um, uh, well, uh, uh, I can't think of anything right now. Uh, I'll think of something in a minute. But anyways, yeah, like a stasis hand cannon, uh, something like that. So that would be really nice to have. Hey, maybe they could even throw in like a strand linear fusion rifle, exotic strand linear fusion rifle in the special slots. Mm, that'd be cool. Um, of course, Dragon's Breath. We know we're getting Dragon's Breath ne next season, but I'm, my hope is that it's really good. Okay, because here's the thing. Like, I have stopped using exotic heavy weapons kind of a long time ago. Like, sometimes I'll put on Lament, because Lament is still very good, you know, against Crota and stuff like that. But I feel like exotic primaries, uh, and Dado's made a bunch of videos about it. Exotic primaries are where it's at. Like that's where you should be because exotic primaries, they do a lot. They give you lots of heavy, they give you lots of special, and they just, they're very, very strong. Okay, so maybe we see, you know, some, some, uh, uh, I don't know. I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. I'm sitting here just thinking of all the possibilities coming with next season. Trying to build hype for myself. Not really gonna lie, Destiny. You know, it, it has gotten stale. I'm using, I'm relying on some, some certain builds that are not really viable, but they're fun, as you can see in the background here. But anyways, yeah, I'll just, I guess I'll just cut it there with my wish list. That's some of the wishes that I have. Of course, I do hope that next season, which is still projected to be a long season, but according to Bungie, it's going to be a normal length season because Bungie, I think still on Steam, you know, the final shape still drops February 27th, I think is the day it drops. And Bungie even said in one of their recent, I think it was their most recent TWAB to look out for final shape on February 27th. Um, but of course we have a bunch of Intel from insiders saying it's being delayed till June. So we'll just have to see. I don't know. We'll see what Bungie pulls out, but yeah, that's kind of some of my wishes. Uh, let me know in the comments below what wishes you have for next season. Do you hope that we're getting certain things? Do you hope that certain things are changing? Just leave me, you know, let me know about them in the comments. Of course, if you're still watching, do me a favor, go down there and hit the sub button because we make videos like this every single day, just talking about random stuff. Uh, and yeah, that's it for me. Like, subscribe, and do me a favor and watch the videos you see on the end screen here because for whatever reason, YouTube thinks you will like them. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye for now, guys.